You're watching America This Morning, America's number one early morning news. Now to the death of a young American diplomat in a terror attack this weekend. Ann Smettinghoff's body is expected to be returned today to Dover Air Force Base in Delaware. Her parents are mourning the loss of their daughter and recalling her love of country. Here's ABC's Nick Schifrin. 25-year-old Ann Smettinghoff had, in the words of her parents, a truly beautiful soul. She was brave and generous. She knew the risks, but volunteered to go to Kabul. She was a press officer and helped highlight stories of Afghans who overcame the odds. <laughs> Afghan musicians playing in Carnegie Hall in New York. <laughs> Two boys who had never acted then appeared in an American movie and were nominated for an Oscar. Her father sent me these photos. She didn't only want to go to Kabul, she wanted to travel throughout the country. She's just one of the many people who answer the call to serve our country in a myriad of ways. And for that, we are forever grateful. And that's what led her to this road in a poor city in southern Afghanistan. She was escorting Afghan journalists to hand out books to school kids. That's when a suicide bomber drove right into her truck. She was uh, very, very intelligent, very um, focused, very uh, driven. Uh, she really uh, had a passion for what she was doing, and I think that made all the difference in, in the way she did it. Believing in the possibilities of diplomacy, of changing people's lives, of making a difference, having an impact, who was taking knowledge in books to deliver them to a school. In her hometown, white ribbons and American flags for the first foreign service officer killed in Afghanistan since 9-11. Diplomats like Anne are on the front lines, and that makes them more vulnerable, including the youngest and the most promising. Nick Schifrin, ABC News, London.